I've been reading uh, Lester's book, In the Power of Love, and he seems to repeat himself again, over and over again about love, and I really understand that. And then he talks about his, I believe it's his release technique. Yes. Um, is that a specific technique or is... Let's put it this way, because you're talking a technique. A technique right. is, is the way, it's a word. Remember, everything has to be marketed to the mind. Right. And the mind love techniques, loves it. <laughs> you see, with nothing, that's the world, that's the mind. You see that the mind and the world, they are hand in hand. It sounded to the listeners, to the people that were approaching him, because that was an interesting phenomenon. The people that were approaching Lester were not really interested in being enlightenment or anything like that or they were interested in being successful happy having the perfect relationship you know they, as he will say if he will say you are still looking for happiness what is not you see but it's a very good first step to master the world so he offered this sort of technique how to undo the 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 the, the feelings and, and thought mechanism that stop you or, or feel it was uh, stopping you from experiencing what you would like to experience so what happened and i experienced directly being 18 years 19 almost 19 years until he passed away with the same group of beings we were very few how we were all there we all have conquered the world so to speak we were accomplished everything we wanted to and more and now finally we were ready to say okay as he will put it now you are ready to listen to the truth <laughs> 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 which is the first step was to 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 master the dream now the second step is to liberate yourself from the dream oh. you see so this technique is it's not a technique, it's only what is the dynamics that I'm inviting you to see. And the, dyna the principle of the dynamic is that every single feeling or thought is generated by wanting, desire. Mm. So it is very helpful for some of us at the beginning, and this I said also to Anne, that when you have a thought, to take it to the source. And, and, and this source is always wanting. Now, this wanting what has different intensities, so to speak. For some of us, wanting is enough. We don't need to go through the, the, the intensity, but the, the wanting is like a pushy, you know, it's like controlling. You want to push. You want to make sure that it goes faster. You want to make sure that they understand. You say you 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 are pushy, and we feel that kind of an uh, impatientness. So that is uh, the wanting to control, wanting things to go in a specific way. So we have a thought, and you will say, oh, "What is that? Oh my God! Yeah, I want to control." Okay, <laughs> and sometimes you. You laugh right away just because you see it. You see it because but but that sees it is you. The seer is you. That's right. The natural laugh come up, and sometimes you're just seeing. You say, "Oh, you're really seeing the dynamic of it," and of course, it the thought collapses, and the mind goes quiet, and in that moment, you're experiencing what you are, but immediately the mind comes with something else. If we're, because mm -hmm. we're more interested in mind, because the mind immediately, that's why it's very easy. The moment you decide to be free, it's very easy to be, because the mind keeps giving you all the stuff until it becomes, so to speak, kind of empty or interesting for you. So the first layer that is control, the, the, the second intensity is wanting recognition, wanting to be considered, wanting to be uh, recognized. Uh, to be appreciated, um, 
in, in, in another words, to, to get approval. And not only from others, but your own approval. You find yourself that you're doing things because you want your own approval. Or doing things because you want their yeah. approval. See, that is the second energy to the wanting, ever wanting. You see, wanting my approval and their approval. And that's a little more um, uh, in, intense, so to speak, because wanting approval were really actually for the first time experiencing the sense of lack. Because when, you, when we are, when you're wanting your own approval, you're really experiencing that what you really is wanting, because you actually want your own approval. You, you actually want to be the love that you are. The thing is that you were, approval is when we're looking for love outside of our, ourselves through others. So, you see, the one thing is always pushing you towards the world, wanting to control the world, wanting approval from the world. Then the, 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 the also kind of wanting is wanting security. In that moment, when we feel insecure about something, like for instance, you need to ask something from someone and that's one of those moments that you really feel insecure in your mind justify will be okay he's your friend he will say yes or who knows maybe you see the mind comes you can see how the mind immediately comes with a lot of so when you notice that all that agitation is coming from wanting security oh so what happened is it's not a technique it's just that he calls the need that to express to the world, but when you see it directly from what you are, those are the dynamics of thinking. That is the loop, thought, feeling that keep the imaginary idea of being separate. Mm -hmm. So if you bring, if you feel like to bring the thoughts, oh, to, to, oh, I must be wanting, that is enough. But if you feel, oh, Oh yeah, or if you resonate with control, approval, or security, use it. See, because they're all tools, and tools are good to be at your disposal if they are necessary. But they be, sometimes we, we need all different tools. And again, of course, the tools are there, but then you may not need them any longer. But here, what we're doing, Sometimes we use those tools, but also we are being, because being that which sees the mind, therefore you see the thought, which that sees the sensations. And, and in that seeing, you are opening to that in which arises, because the, a, good, a good question will be, if that feeling, let's say, you're, if that sensation wouldn't be there, what is actually there? You see? If thinking wouldn't be there, what is actually there? If feelings wouldn't be there, what is actually there? Uh. That sounds like a good question. You see, you resonated with that. That is a tool, you see? Let's see. And that is a very good tool. When something said, okay, that wouldn't be there, what is actually here? That's very powerful. Because you see, now you don't need to get into, you, you, you are a step four. You see what I mean? Yes. It's even simpler. And that is the basic principle of what is called technique in that book that you read. 